Hey family, I'm Chrissy Jordan with SeekingScripture.com and today I want to make a quick video because I've seen a lot of different questions regarding Zeet Zeet in the group lately and on my personal page on Facebook. They want to know how I wear them, um, how to how to make them. They people they miss that when we study it in our in our whole Bible Bible study, which is easy to do because there is so much information we're taking in when we start reading the whole Bible in a year. And I want to assure you that you're not expected to get everything the first go round because the goal is never just to read the Bible once. The goal is to become daily Bible readers. And so as we go through, we realize we miss certain things. On the next go round, we may pay a little more attention there and that's where we dig deeper and that's where the Father reveals a lot more wisdom to us. So I want to just touch briefly on Zeet Zeet and answer some of the questions that I've been asked a lot in the last couple of days. Um, first of all is why do I wear them? My husband and I both wear Zeet Zeet every day, uh, and the reason why we do it is because the Father told us to, and Messiah wore them. And he is, our Messiah is the ultimate example of how to walk out our faith. He came and he walked out the faith before us to show us exactly how to do it, how to walk out our faith in love. And so we really want to follow his example. You know, we wear all, there, there was a time where people were wearing all these what would Jesus do bracelets. Um, Ricky calls Zeke Zeke the original what would Jesus do bracelet because it was actually designed by the Father to remind us of the commandments, to remind us of what he did. But we talk all the time about what would Jesus do. And I decided, you know, there's a time in my life where we need to actually start doing what he did instead of just talking about it. And so that's really what, Zeke Zeet are for us. Now you can read about them in Numbers 15 verses 37 through 38 and that's where we get the design. That's where we're told it says speak to the people of Israel and tell them to make tassels on the corners of their garments throughout their generations and to put a cord of blue on the tassel of each corner and it shall be a tassel for you to look at and remember all the commandments of Yahweh to do them not to follow after your own heart and your own eyes, which you are inclined to. So you shall remember and do all my commandments and be holy to your God. So that's just part of that verse. The Father gave it to us, gave these to us to help us remember. Now, I don't wear a four-cornered garment. Um, our Jewish brethren, and during this time, they did wear four-cornered garments that were called tallits. I don't wear a four-cornered garment. I don't have a four corner garment, but never let what you can't do keep you from doing what you can. So I'm going to show you a little bit about how we wear them in just a few minutes. Also, we read in Matthew 14 verses 35 through 36, when the men and when the men of that place recognized him, they sit around to all that region and brought to him all who were sick and implored him that they might only touch the fringe of his garment and as many as touched it were made well. That is his Zeet Zeet. You can go and go into the interlinear version on Bible Gateway and you'll end up getting to that. You'll see that's actually his Zeet Zeet. Um, then we also see uh, in the issue of the woman and the blood, she actually touched the fringe of his garment and was healed. That was his Zeet Zeet as well. <clears throat> so those are, those are some of our verses that talk about Zeet Zeet. Sometimes they're called tassels. Depends on your translation. Sometimes it's a fringe. Um, I want to tell you that I don't, I, <laughs> I don't see this as a salvation issue. You shouldn't care how I see it though. This isn't about how I see it. This isn't about what your friends think. This isn't even about what your church thinks. This is between you and the father. Okay. This is a personal issue between you and him, but I'm talking to you as a friend and I'm just kind of answering some questions. So I don't see it as an, as a salvation issue. I do see it as an obedience issue. Um, and I know that I spent most of my life leaning on my own wisdom and not opening the gifts that the Father had placed before me. And my goal now is to open as many of those gifts as possible. And this is a gift. The Father has given us a memory device to help us remember who we are in Him, who our identity is, and to remember His commandments. And I know that His wisdom is so far and above my own. And every time I have made the decision to lean on his wisdom over mine, it has been a great blessing. Um, so I, we, for a while, we didn't wear, we didn't wear ZZ when we started reading the whole Bible. And I had friends who did. And I was talking to a friend one day, and I'm just kind of taking here on my journey of how we ended up being here. And I said, you know, I've prayed about ZZ, but I just don't feel convicted to wear them. 
And she very sweetly, she said, well, are we, are we only supposed to keep the commandments we feel like keeping? <laughs> and I thought, wow, that was a bombshell. Um, and so that weekend, Ricky and I were sitting down, we were reading the Bible and I looked over at him and we had been reading the whole Bible for a couple of years at that point. And I said, tell me something. Why aren't we wearing ZZ? And Ricky thought about it a minute. And he looked over at me and he said, we have no excuse. And that was it. Um, so that that's how we ended up where we are today. I want to tell you a little about how I wear them. Now, <clears throat> Ricky and I showed you the other day, he's like, if y'all watch my other video on the ZZ clips I found, he said, why are my shorts upstairs on the desk? I said, well, I need them for a video. So, um, it's, I think it's fairly easy to wear them if you have, uh, belt loops or a belt. Um, most of the time I do not, but this is how Ricky wears his if he has belt loops. Um, so they're just kind of around there with a the clip, um, but you can also just put around there. This is how I was wearing mine until I found these little clips. I made these little things and they just go over a waistband. Um, I'm going to show you when I found those clips that I, I'll link to the video below. Um, it makes it so much easier to wear them. Now today I'm going to show you how I'm wearing mine. I'm wearing jeans. Um, and I normally don't wear jeans. <laughs> I don't like jeans that much, but jeans, it makes it really easy. So I'm going to show you how I'm wearing mine. And then I'm going to explain to you how I wear them in, um, in kind of a different way in terms of how we don't want to be flashy with them, but we also aren't ashamed of them. So let me, let me stand up and I'm going to point the camera down. I'm going to show you how I'm wearing my ZZ. Just a second. And this is how, this is how when I go out, if you see me, I'm, you're probably going to see my ZZ. So, can y'all see? These are my jeans and my ZZ are just right here at the side. Get this to go down a little. There, see? And you just see ZZ hanging out. And so, that's pretty simple. Now, um, most of the time, if I'm not wearing jeans, I just have them on that little clip that goes around, um, just on your waist and sometimes they just tuck they peek out from the corners of your top sometimes they don't it depends on the length of your top now with regards to how I wear them so it says in that verse in numbers that they are for us to look at we don't wear them for other people having said that you will see some people wear super extra long really flashy ZZ um, there's nothing wrong with them being pretty. I like pretty ones. Uh, they are required to have a thread of blue. They are not required to have a certain pattern. Some people will tell you they are. Don't listen to them because the Bible doesn't say that. Um, they are required to have a thread of blue. So this is, I made these for me a couple days ago. You see, there's my blue. This is Ricky's. He, he likes this pattern and that's his blue. Um, these, if you look, there's blue. They always have blue. So they're required to have a thread of blue and you can do them whatever pattern you want. I see some people just make like a little tassel like that and that's totally fine. Um, there's traditional ways of doing it. I have a video here that teaches you a traditional way of tying zeet zeet and I'll link to that below. And I'm hoping to do a couple of videos coming up that show you some different ways that I make zeet zeet. But with regards to how we wear them in terms of our, our attitude towards them, I always say we are neither proud nor are we ashamed. Now, by that, what I mean is that we don't wear them to show off or to give the idea or even have the idea that we think we're better than others or more, more religious than others. I call it more set apart than thou. You know, there's holier thou and there's more set apart than thou. And both of those are in error. So we don't wear them um, out of pride. They're not for others, but you're naturally going to see them sometimes. But there is a, there's kind of an attitude you can have, you know. So we just, I try to be subtle with mine, um, but I don't hide them because I'm not ashamed of them either. However, there are situations in which I do tuck my zit in. 
I will just tuck it into my pocket. So it's hanging down and I'll just take this and just tuck it into my pocket. And let me tell you some of those situations. First of all, Ricky does that at work. Um, at his work, he tucks his ZZ in. So he will have them tucked into his, his pants pocket. He wears them on loop by there or he'll tuck them into his waist. Um, and that just, you know, it keeps from, in certain situations, it would make him stand out in a way where it would seem like he was, I call it peacocking about, you know? And so in those situations, um, in the interest of humility, we don't, we, we personally tuck them in. If I were to be around, say, one of our Jewish brethren, um, our Jewish brethren who have held to the commandments <laughs> far longer than we have, and, and this is something, this is the commandment they've been keeping throughout their generations, um, they do not believe that women, some of them do not believe that women should wear zizi. And so if I were around some Jewish brethren, which I have been on a couple of occasions, um, I would just tuck them into my pocket. And that's just out of respect for them. Um, because I know that we see this verse differently and it just keeps, it keeps the peace, um, keeps the accord. You know, we're all going to be on the father's, the father's page. Eventually we'll all be on the same page. And, and listen, um, anytime you see someone who you think, well, that's not what the Bible says. They're, they're kind of going against what the Bible says. Um, just be leery of that attitude because you are too in, in many ways. And the father's revealing it to us slowly. So we just have to, we have to be mindful of the fact that we all fall short and we all rely on his grace. Um, there's other occasions where I have been around a group of, uh, church folks and I will just tuck them in because I, it could be seen as me thinking I'm more set apart. It could be seen as being haughty, you know, and I don't want to give that impression to people. Um, just remember the command, I'm, I'm neither proud nor am I, am I ashamed of them. The command is that we wear them for ourselves. I know some people who always wear theirs hidden. And, you know, it is between us and the Father how we wear these. I think it's such a blessing that so many of the Father's commandments, so many of the Father's instructions on how to walk out our faith um, require us to seek Him for specific instruction on how, that, how to carry that out. That's very important. And so this is another blessing that it calls us to constantly be seeking Him and asking for His guidance. So that follow Him with that. Um, but yeah, I know some people who don't wear them visible to others, and that's between them and the Father. That's how the Father has led them to do it. I put mine on every morning. I am neither proud nor am I ashamed, and I am constantly seeking the Father throughout my day when I interact with others, and I follow His leading on that. They do spark some great conversations, um, and if you start wearing them, you will, you will start looking. You'll start looking, and you do get excited when you see other people wearing ZZ. It is very exciting. I remember um, before Ricky and I started wearing them, we were at a local outdoor shopping center and somebody walked past us and they had ZZ on. And I stopped and I said, oh, Ricky, they're wearing ZZ. <laughs> we were just, I was like, oh my goodness. You know, it was exciting. So it is kind of a neat way to, um, it's a neat way to kind of identify others <laughs> among your specific tribe at this point. Um, but just know that it is something, it is a gift given to us by the Father. It is a personal thing. The Father's instructions are, um, they're specific and they're not. You can, you can use any colors you want, pretty much. I mean, the only color we're told is it has to have blue. We're not told a specific way they have to be tied. Um, we are told to wear them on the four corner of our garments. I don't have four corners. And so what I do is I have, but there's the four is in there. So I have four ZZ. I wear two and two and that's how Ricky wears them as well. And they are for us to look at. And so some people may wear them like, like I do. Mine are usually peeking out from under my top. Sometimes they're not. Some people may tuck them in. Some people may always wear them tucked in. Some people, I know, I know a lot of guys who do like Ricky, they tuck them in at work and then not when they're home, you know, and I think that is entirely appropriate. Seek the father on it. Um, there are, there are a lot of blessings to this and it is a lot, it is actually a commandment that is, um, I really enjoy it very much. It's a very enjoyable commandment. 
I enjoy making zeet zeet um, throughout my day when I'm working around the house and stuff and I look down and I see my zeet zeet. It just always makes my heart smile because it reminds me, it's a visual reminder of our very special relationship with a father. And uh, so this has been, this is a, a commandment that's been very, very much a blessing to us. It is a simple commandment to carry out and uh, very fulfilling. So if you want to, if you would like to check out Zeet Zeet, look for the verses in the Bible, pray about it. Um, know that I do not judge you either way. I do not stand in judgment of you. I stand here loving you and wanting to encourage you, okay? I do not stand in judgment of you. And I hope that you don't stand in judgment of me because we are both seeking to follow the Father, seeking to walk in the footsteps of our Messiah, and He's leading us at His pace now. We're on His timeline. And so some people may come into the Bible and may read it for a couple of years like we did before they actually start carrying this out. Some people, I've seen people this year, as soon as we hit that numbers verse, the next day they were wearing ZZ. Some people the Father may still be working on. Some people that you think aren't wearing ZZ are wearing them, but they just ain't wearing them where you can see them because, frankly, it's none of our business. <laughs> you know, this is between them and the Father. So just, it's a great commandment. Um, there's a lot of blessing in it. There's a lot of value in following this. And I do want to encourage you, if you're on the fence, try it. You will never regret following the Father's wisdom over your own especially. You will never regret it. We can always trust in Him. And even if His wisdom doesn't make sense to us at the time, why do we have to have it make sense before we follow Him? That's what faith is about, y'all. We love Him, we honor Him, and we know that His wisdom is so far and above our own. Lean on His understanding, not our own. So I do want to encourage you to do this. But if you, if you need some time, that's fine too. If, if you decide that this is not something that's for you, keep reading. Just know that no judgment from me regardless. My goal, I do have a motive when it comes to my relationship with you. My goal is to get as many people as possible to read the whole word of God for themselves. He takes it from there. I love y'all. I hope this answered your questions and I hope you found this somewhat helpful. I'm hoping to do, I'll do link to my ZZ video. It's a traditional tying method below. And I hope to do some more videos showing you some simple ZZ designs that I do, maybe some a little more intricate too, uh, coming up. Oh, also, this is just cross-stitch thread. This is a real simple one. <laughs> so all of mine are cross-stitch threads. So y'all have a blessed day. This is Friday, so Shabbat Shalom. And if you have enjoyed our Bible study, if you have friends that you would like to join our Bible study, we read through the whole Bible from Genesis to Revelation. And membership is only open once a year because we begin together and we end together. So if you've never read the whole Word of God and He is your God, something's missing in your life and I encourage you to join us. We are from all walks of the faith. Um, we are from many different denominations, many stripes and polka dots, and but we are one accord in many things and that is our love of his word, our love of our precious father, and our love of our precious Messiah and gratitude for salvation through him. Y'all have a blessed day. Love you. Bye-bye.